90% of all the traveling we have in this country is through the public transport. And so we cannot discuss about our kids being in school without discussing about how they will get to school. Parents are taking their children back to school tomorrow can have a sigh of relief. This is after the Ministry of Transport informed an anxious public that the Matatu Owners Association have agreed not to increase fares for students heading back to school. The Cabinet Secretary for Transport, James Masharia, says this is due to the tough economic times brought about by the coronavirus pandemic. They will not hike the fares. We appreciate that and recognize the fact that parents are coming from a very difficult period whereby they are constrained economically. The last thing we want is them to be overcharged in terms of the kids going back to school. So in terms of Matatu uh, sector, that's what we've agreed. The Ministry of Transport also announced that the standard gauge railway trains plying the Mombasa-Nairobi route will double its capacity on Monday. The train will also stop at the seven stations between Mombasa and Nairobi so as to ease the movement of students through the various regions. Every day, in normal days, we have one train coming from Mombasa and one train coming from Nairobi. We have made sure that now we have two pairs, two trains coming from Mombasa and two trains coming from Nairobi. And these trains will be inter-county. We want to emphasize that because our kids will be leaving Nairobi, for example, going to Machako schools, going to Murito Aderi schools, and so forth. Tomorrow, we shall not have express train. All trains coming to Nairobi and vice versa, they'll be accurately stopping in the seven stations along Mobasa Nairobi Highway. The CS also added that the medium gauge railway train from Nairobi to Nanyuki will operate tomorrow with a capacity of 1,500. It will leave Nairobi at 9 a.m. and make stopovers across its route in central Kenya. You are aware, recently we did uh, rehabilitate the the line from Nairobi to Nanyuki. And tomorrow at 9 a.m., we shall have a train ready from here to Nairobi, from Nairobi, all the way to Nanyuki, which will be carrying about 1,500 of our students and their parents. In Nairobi, 20 intracity trains will be available for students studying in the capital city. For drivers operating tomorrow, mandatory alcohol tests will be carried out and no driver will be allowed to drive long distances. And this is a season when we have a lot of accidents. The last thing we want to do is that before the kids get to school, we have these, God forbid, accidents along the way. So we've agreed with the chairman of Matata Owners Association. Three things. Number one, all the drivers will be tested for alcohol. We shall not allow anybody getting into those vehicles uh, who has been drinking in the previous one or two days. We have also made sure that these drivers will not drive long distances because by doing so, they get fatigued and they cause accidents along the way. Robbie Omondi, K24 Weekend Edition.